Skyrocketing home insurance premiums have some families in Cape Coral on the edge of losing everything they've worked for. People we talk to say their payments are going up by hundreds of dollars a month. Tonight, Cape Coral City leaders held a town hall meeting with state representatives and insurance agents. NBC2's Gage Golding was at that meeting, which still left many wondering what to do. We budgeted a certain amount for our house, and in the past year, it's gone up almost $800, and all because of the insurance. Just think about that, 800 bucks a month. That's like taking on two extra car payments. It would be tough for a lot of us to balance that weight suddenly tossed on our budget. I can't afford it right now. I've borrowed money from my parents. Um, drawing from our 401k is an emergency. James O'Grady is just one of many in the same situation. Well over a hundred people upset and confused about what to do next came to the meeting. I wanted to know what's going on with the new insurance laws that were just being passed. State Representative Mike G. Lombardo was one of the legislators on hand to help. Before the meeting, he told NBC2 these rising premiums need to stop. I 100% agree. We we have to do more in order for, uh, for, for it to actually be effectively drop or effectively drop premiums. That doesn't mean much to the Tibieris, who were dropped by their last insurance provider. Never, never thought it would happen, but it did. What would speak volumes is if their state rep could kickstart some kind of change. We picked up insurance, but what's it going to be like next year? This year alone, five Florida insurance companies have gone under. The big cause is roofing claims and a monumental 100,000 lawsuits that cost insurance companies $1.9 billion last year. Reporting in Cape Coral, Gage Golding, NBC2.